Well, good game day morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here and let's wake up the football gods. Wow. It is finally game day. It is finally here. Um, I'm up early before the sun. Got to go pick up my man, David Wiley. Got to get the truck and everything loaded up. Get everybody meeting here. Get the tickets ready. We are here because it is game day and I got my game day coffee. And I'm going to say that the next 12 hours will determine the Dallas Cowboys season. It is crazy to me that the Cowboys are in position to win the NFC East. You know, it was many years ago, I think probably about six years ago, I started talking about how nobody had repeated in the NFC East. Um, I've been doing YouTube really a lot since 2016. 2016 was the year, I mean, I've been doing YouTube since 2012, um, but 2016 was the year it took off, and it took off, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it took off because of Dak Prescott in a video that I did after the Senior Bowl. And that's where people started to notice me. And I have been a supporter of Dak Prescott through thick and thin. I've been told I'm an idiot, you're blinded, you're not a Cowboys fan, you're just a Dak Prescott fan. But I've always believed that Dak Prescott has been the best option for the Dallas Cowboys. It's easy to take football and look at it like it's Madden. You know, you can get rid of one player and just plug in another one. But that doesn't just work because you need somebody who fits your system, fits the needs that you have, and understands your system and can play with others. You can be a great player on one team because you fit that system and go to a totally different system and be completely lost. I don't know that Deshaun Watson has forgotten how to play football, but for whatever reason, it's not working for him with Cleveland. And I could probably say the same thing about Russell Wilson with Denver. So you have to have the right system, the right uh, role. You have to have the right people. It's hard. We've seen our players that have been great players here go elsewhere and fail. And I've always felt like Dak Prescott was a much better quarterback than what people would give him credit for. You know, they still talk about Dak Prescott, his one year of interceptions, when in reality, he is fourth on the list all time of touchdowns to interceptions ratio. Fourth. People don't seem to remember that he broke his thumb and came back six weeks later after having a pin put in his thumb. I believed in Dak, I believed in things that he's done, and I look and I've always said, we have not had a complete team that you look at. When you look at the Eagles team that went to the Super Bowl last year, they were a complete team. They were good on both sides of the ball. They had playmakers around Jalen Hurts, and that wasn't enough. And I would always say, take a look at what the Cowboys have. It's not the same thing. Looked at Kansas City, who's got one of the greatest minds in football. Or I look back with Tom Brady and the New England teams that always had great defense. And I said, we have to get everything together. And that's right. People say, things have to be perfect for Dak Prescott to win the Super Bowl. Well, I'm going to say, that's the case with every quarterback. You can't tell me that Aaron Rodgers isn't one of the best quarterbacks every year. But he ain't been there since 2010. It's hard to win the Super Bowl. And you need to afford yourself every opportunity that you can to make it easier to get there. And today is one of those days. Now, yesterday, uh, St. 
Steelers get their playoff berth. Baltimore's resting players. T.J. Watt hurts his knee. Don't know how severe it is. But if they lose T.J. Watt, it's going to be a quick exit. They don't have the offensive stars to go there. And that's the same thing with pretty much every team. Everybody is fragile. And what we need to do is we need to get out here. We need to get this win. We need to get this win so we can go on and make the playoffs as easy as possible. I'm going to keep this short this morning because I've got a long day. But it is almost 7 o'clock. And 12 hours from now, we'll know. We'll know if the Dallas Cowboys are NFC East winners and setting themselves up for a run. Or if it's the same old Dallas Cowboys. Let's listen in this real quick here before I go pick up David and see what they had for us. Because all week long, I have set up every Cowboys conversation by talking about them as the two seed, by talking about them at home, by talking Try to about jinx us. they finally make this run. Mm-hmm. And Fig said, Greeny, you're talking about them like they've already beaten Washington on Sunday. This is the game they blow. <laughs> this is the game they lose. Look, we know it. We've seen it happen in the last decade. They always lose this game. They cannot lose. They were handed a gift. They were given a present yeah. by the Eagles last weekend. Is there there's no way they blow this game Sunday, is there? <laughs> if they do, G, yeah. I ain't coming back to work. <laughs> That's it, right? That's it. The, the, here's the thing, man. In division, you, you both of you guys know this. Sometimes the records don't, yes. don't signal how tough and difficult these games are. That's why you see it all the time, teams losing. You see Cleveland beat Baltimore when yeah. you know Baltimore's the better. You see Pittsburgh beat Baltimore. Like, these are the games where Dallas needs to establish, all right, we, we, we in the playoffs, but let's not relax. And two, they need some momentum going into these playoffs, especially with what I just talked about with that run game. Well, if they blow this game, I'm going. I'm going to put a sign outside of the facility because I only live five minutes from myself. <laughs> yeah. And tell them you sick. <laughs> you right about that. It, the difference between winning and losing this game is the difference between being the two seed yeah. and having every game until the championship game in your building, or being the five seed and let's face it, having no chance whatsoever. Tannenbaum's got one other reason why this might be a little scarier game than you think. Yeah, and, and we've been there before. Ron Rivera, presumptively, this is his last game, and he is beloved and well-respected by everybody in the NFL and his own players. And I know Graz will say that they haven't done so so far, but this is their last stand, and I'm sure they're going to want to play hard for their coach, who's probably going to be out on Monday. And again, I think Dallas should win. Clearly, they're the better team. But Greeny, like whatever Washington has, my expectation is they'll leave it on the field on Sunday. Yeah, but you're right, though. Like, why haven't they been doing that for the last month, the way the Chicago Bears have, for example, trying to save their coach's job? Washington feels like they've been fairly checked out. Now, maybe, you know, maybe they gather it maybe because it's the Cowboys. Hey, let's, let's, let's mess up the Cowboys postseason. I, I just haven't seen it from this Washington group in a very long time. And frankly, if the Cowboys don't win the game, one thing I know for sure yeah. is that the Eagles won't win their game either because no one ever repeats as champion of the <laughs> NFC East. We didn't get to talk about this on Tuesday. 19 we years. I knew it was coming. Yeah, 19 years. He talked about it before. Weird stuff happens. The refs have to mess up the end of the Cowboy game. The Eagles have to blow a lead against the Cardinals. Weird, Weird stuff, stuff always happens. happens. You're right. I'm telling you. It right. took him 10 minutes and four <laughs> seconds to get it in today. <laughs> but he got it in. So what you're telling us is that if the Cowboys somehow manage to lose this game, then the Eagles will lose to the Everybody Giants. stop. Everybody stop. I know that. Yeah. Everybody sure. stop. And then I know the Cowboys Let's won't win it next year. and lose it. They okay. are not losing the damn Yeah, I don't game. think they're going to lose okay. the game. Let's, Let's ask a serious we gotta question. we got to stop saying that. The, because they should win. And Mike okay. said it. I mean, they're the better team. They should yeah. win. If, they, if they're going to do any of the things that we expect them to have a shot to finally do this year, you got to take care of business 100%. on the road. Is this... That we've seen the disappointments so many times, so many years in a row. No one agonizes it with it more than you do. Why is it different? What, what, what feels different about this year? One, this you team? win this game, it's your best chance to at least get to the NFC Championship. Right. Because you're at home. The second thing is your quarterback is playing at a higher level than he's ever played. And two, we've seen Dallas play at elite levels at times during this season. And if they could just sustain that. And here's what the playoffs are about. Speaking from a guy that playoffs. Don't, don't talk about playoffs. Listening to dudes that want Super Bowls. It's a three-hour window, right? It's a three-hour window of a little of, of being a really good team, having a little bit of luck, 
and playmakers making plays. That is why we think San Francisco is the favorites, because when you look at the team, they littered with the Jimmys and Joes. And usually in the playoffs, that's what it boils down to. But Dallas got some Jimmys and Joes now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's the key to them getting to the NFC Championship and having a chance. Yes, yeah, so I agree. They have a couple of things. They could score. They have the best quarterback in the NFC, in my opinion, yep. and they could rush the passer. Yep. But their Achilles heel is their run defense, and if they score enough points, they can mask it. The road thing is interesting, too, but their last road game in Miami, they did not win it, but they, they were not run out of the building like right. they were in yes. Arizona and San Francisco. So they have a little bit, maybe a little bit, something like momentum in terms of that. All right, we are just getting rolling today. All right, maybe just have a little bit of momentum. So... Let's see what happens with the Giants and the Eagles. Um, I would love to see the Eagles finish the season with another spiral downhill. But maybe that's just me being salty and so on. But this is it, man. This is the 18th time I've been here for morning coffee, man. And it's crazy that the season is gone takes so long to get here and we're on the cusp of the off season. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. They suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me? Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter, it's like they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't Don't you hear me? Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter, it's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? 